Yeah, I agree. That's why I always say sometimes a stranger's support is stronger than your friends because sometimes your friends be the strangers. They the ones who be acting strange. They the ones who be trying to keep the good things about you or the compliments that they can give you at the right times to themselves to keep you from feeling good like they're your opposition or something. Basically don't want to give you no encouragement or no motivation. And then you got some of them friends who feel like you might know you the shit. You know you pop. So they ain't got to tell you nothing to the point where even when they don't say nothing, so many other people say stuff to the point where they just hate it. It's like that negative energy and that demon in them just be like Judasizing you up. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That Judas energy just be like, I don't like it. Or I wish that was me. I wish I could have it. But strangers that don't have ill intentions support genuinely with pure intentions like how a kid genuinely likes something. Like a kid might be rocking to some music that adults might feel like is not appropriate for kids. And that kid may not even seen that on, te on television or heard nobody else singing a song or seen nobody else dance to it. That kid just know what it like, you know what I'm saying? It's bobbing to it. And all you do is say, stop dancing to that, but it don't know no better. All they know is that beat sound good, that rhythm sound good, the message may not be good, but they ain't focused on that. They going off the energy and the tone, the melodies, and how everything come together. So a stranger look at people the same way. All they see is pure raw talent, pure raw gifts, a pure raw person with some inspiration or oddness about them to make them support that and start following that or invest in that. You know what I mean? Because a stranger, man, a stranger don't care about where you come from. A stranger don't care about who like you, who you don't follow, how much money you done had, what rumors are against you. Like, they don't care. All they see is potential, they see a proper investment, or they see somebody that's on their way. They see a level of success in you that you may not even see in yourself or that other people see in you but don't want you to know. But people that know you, see, they've been knowing you even before you developed that talent. Or they've been knowing you as long as you've been having that gift but been knowing you wasn't aware of it. And then when you woke up to it, it made them feel some kind of way. And a lot of times people don't want to view you on a certain level of success because that division automatically separates you from them. Because they ain't in alignment with that. Especially if they are those type of friends who not trying to go where you going and not on the things that you own and just freeloading, just on the ride. Because they see something in you, but they don't like it at the same time. And then you got some of them people, whether they your family or your friends, and in some cases your mate, who got what it take to support you and just don't because they don't like the attention that you get from it. They don't like how people love you. You get what I'm saying? So even with the people that's able to help you sometimes are holding necks on you because they don't want you to do good and a lot of them don't want you to pass them. So they like, let me get me first. You know what I'm saying? And if they do help you, they gonna always remind you that they helped you. You know, like throwing it up in your face and making you feel like you ain't nothing without them. But a lot of times, and in most cases, not all, a stranger ain't gonna be like that. They'll literally sit up there and talk to you for 30 minutes to an hour telling you how great you is. I had people do me like this. Off of motivational speaking, or off of doing music, regardless. And I've seen it done to other people. We do it to celebrities all the time. We don't know them people. They strangers to us, but we like what they do. So we support it. We tell people about it, we share it, we follow it. We go out our way to turn our friends and family members on to it. Like, yo, check this out, did you help me? We don't know them people. They could be living a lie. They could be corny as hell. You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is you like what you like. And strangers gonna be pure in what they like. But people who know you, they feel like you ain't no better than me even though they may know that you are in certain areas and, and w when it comes to certain aspects about yourself and they can't compete with that. But that's what happens when you deal with people with competitive minds. That's why you gotta be careful about the friends that you choose. Choose friends that's gonna uplift each other. Even if you are the number one uh, 
a center of attention and main attraction of your crew. Still let them shine too. Still encourage them too. Still build them up too. Male or female, bro or sis, don't matter. Cause we still in this together and it's a whole lot of room for all of us to support one another and still shine. Just like it's a whole lot of money for everybody to get and still be successful and be happy and in peace. But you know, some people still working on themselves. They gotta get that hate about their spirit, man. And a lot of people not where they wanna be in life. So they gotta self project those emotions and those weaknesses and insecurities on the other people. And then you got a lot of people who just still fighting with themselves on all kind of other levels to the point where it's not in them to show love or to support other people. All they want is people to support them and show love to them. And if you're not doing that, then they ain't rocking with you. So we all know ain't no true reward um, in just uh, supporting people that support you. You know what I mean? You gotta support everybody if you want everybody to support you, especially people that you don't know. So the people that you like, support them. You ain't gotta act like you ain't gotta acknowledge it or don't tell them that you like what they got going on just because everybody else like it. That don't mean you dick riding. That mean you being pure with a pure gesture and intentions to let somebody know how they inspired you or how they motivated you or how you just love what they do because they do it great. They do it authentically and you appreciate it. And that's all it's about. So don't sleep on strangers. But I ain't saying don't trust strangers because everybody intentions ain't good. You know what I mean? Some people can manipulate you, make you feel all good, gassed up, and snake you. You know what I mean? But what's crazy about this stranger energy is that it worked for fuck niggas and slept buckets too. Like, y'all can fool them. The, the, the buckets and the cornballs, if they real good actors, real good at what they do of convincing people of their corny lifestyle as being real or pure, they're real people in too and have people supporting their bullshit too, following their dumb shit too. Yeah, I've seen it. Until they until the veil get lifted and they realize, oh man, they imposters. So it don't matter if you're real or fake. It's all about who you attract and who becomes attracted to the energy that you put out. So be mindful of that, but at the same at the same time, appreciate those who don't know you, but know that you got a good heart or that can see your good spirit because it take one to know one. That's what I'm saying.